I'd like to share some more about my newest painting, The Kiss. It obviously shows a really intimate, close moment with Jesus and this sheep, but it adds a whole other layer of meaning to it when you think about how Jesus himself is the Lamb of God. Especially during Passover, it adds a whole immense backstory to just this picture. And you almost kind of wonder what the sheep might be thinking. Like, is it sympathy? Like, he understands kind of what Jesus is going through in the picture, or maybe gratitude, because he doesn't have to anymore. And another interesting thing is the Hebrew word neshika. Neshika is the word for kiss, but it has a dual meaning. The word for kiss, neshika, also can be translated as weapon. That's really interesting. You think about Judas's kiss, which you normally would think of as a kiss in the Bible, that's the first one that comes to mind. But that kiss was also a weapon, a neshika in both meanings of the word. The kiss represented in this painting is a whole other kind. It's one trying to express his adoration, how much he loves Jesus, rather than one of a betrayal and treachery. And the interesting thing about weapons and kisses, they both pierce the heart. In the following couple of days, we're going to talk more about like the making of the painting and how it came to be.